Hi guys, today I'm gonna teach you how to mix CJC1295 and Ipamorelin in order to have it ready for injection. So the things that we will be needing today is your syringe with your needle. In this case, I have a 10 ml sy uh, syringe with a one and a half inch 21 gauge needle. I have my alcohol wipes, I have my um, bacteriostatic water, and my dehydrated CJC1295 with Ipamorelin. So let's begin. I'm gonna throw away the cap for the Ipamorelin and I'm gonna swipe the top of my bottle with my alcohol wipe. The next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna swipe the top of my bacteriostatic water top. And for this type of um, solution, this, this, the way I compounded this one, you'll need five ml of water in order to put inside the uh, the bottle of the dehydrated material and get the prescribed dose. So let's begin. We take the air, right? And we take air, we take this time five ml because that's what we're gonna need of the water. So we take, uh, we throw away the cap. We already have swiped the top of the bottle so we can put, introduce the needle and introduce the air as well. Now, if you see, the, um, the water starts coming out almost on its own so I make sure that everything it's the the water's coming out like, like I want it. There's a small bubble in there. All right, I got rid of it. Good. If you guys can see, we have the stopper at the number five. Now the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna introduce my needle into the bottle of the dehydrated CJC and Um I'm gonna hold the stopper here because um once I put the needle in, the bottle's vacuum pack and it's gonna try to start or pulling on the water very fast and I want this to be a slow process, all right? I don't want it to all go bananas and go very fast. Now that it has sucked all the bacteriostatic water in, I'm gonna start mixing and mixing very, very slightly, okay? You don't need to shake this because what we want is the water to catch all that powder that we have of the um, medications, both the Pamorelin and the CJC1295. Once I have mixed them all nicely, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take away the syringe, right? And now you'll see that all the bubbles that were inside are gone and the liquid becomes more clear. If there is uh, a white grain in there, no worries. You put it in the fridge and when you get ready to use it tonight, it'll already be completely